He is a god of multiplication, but not duplication. He wanted you exactly how you are. Fall in love with yourself. Figure out your name. Figure out your family. Figure out, and not, not digging into them, but rather like, hey, how do I fit in here? And maybe I can look at myself at a different angle to see myself in a different vantage point. Maybe I did do this or that, maybe not. And sometimes we get we, we gotta stay away and sometimes move closer, but it's so let's chat. I gotta start getting a little bit more dynamic with my stuff. No, but honestly, I gotta start speaking more into the camera, doing things that are more live. I have a lot on my mind and I just want to let it out. And so, again, some of my other videos, I talk about how I just literally love language. I say that language is the cornerstone of civilization. And when language breaks down, that could be in whatever degree, body language, you know, it's like, what is this dude doing? No magic, but, uh, yeah, sorry if the uh, camera is kind of messed up. I'm dealing with whatever, but, Body language is one of the big ones. But then you have everything from dialect or inflection, tone, all those things. But then also it's the emotion that you bring with it. So when that breaks down, and that could be through anger, through uh, misinterpretation, it could be through a lot of things then civilization slowly starts to break down and we're seeing that well pretty much from the dawn of time and that's why the tower of babel is one of the biggest stories of the entire bible and i believe personally that as it says in the bible you know what satan intended for evil the lord will turn around and bring it good now god did the tower of babel purposefully because he was very mad and that's what happens in you can see that a lot in the old testament um it was kind of god hoping and a little bit of testing a little bit of you know there was some major acts of faith i don't know if i could do some of the things that i read about where abraham it was inches away from killing his own son and like no wonder he became the father of all the nations like but then again God himself goes down the line and he has to forfeit or sacrifice literally his own son in order to save the world and you can see that it's almost this beautiful um, foreshadowing to the greatest inheritance of mankind and that's eternity on the backs of or the sacrifice of life so if you want the fullness of love you have to understand that it was at the whims of the full sacrifice of a perfect life not just a life and i'm not saying that one is more than the other but we're pretty good at it as humans being the judge of another but this one defied the laws of nature and I said that as I was talking to my brother shout out to my bro love you Ben um, I thought about this the other day how you can see the energetic value that the crucifixion and the resurrection of Christ changed everything because it was more or less and it's going still rippling through time right now 
because it's the Newton's law says for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, right? Um, but the action was that he was perfect, or and if you're not a believer, I'll just say presumably that he was perfect. But I mean, he has the largest book deal in history, so uh, let's just go with the idea that he is the most perfect, or is the only perfect. Now, the, 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 the equal reaction should be harmony and those things, but it was the exact opposite. And it, but, but it was even worse than that. It was uh, opportunity in, was invited to, as he performed miracles, to show people like, hey, I'm doing this out of love. And what have I brought you? But you, that being me, even now, us as human beings, dissension and division and you said yo i came back as perfection right in front of your eyes and you still couldn't see it i showed you love but it wasn't to your degree of love so that must not be love and i'm saying this with the canniness that i have but you can only now begin to see why he cried a tear of blood because he's like, what else do you need? He cried a tear of blood. This, it's really not a miracle. That's a medical anomaly just to show you that his physical um, that his physical death was probably very excruciating for him and we know that it is it was and it, it I, 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 we can say it is as well because we live if you're a believer with the knowing that we put him there but he cried a tear of blood because he being perfect there I, I can't say in all actuality but let's just imagine he was hurt but more so confused that we wouldn't get it how can somebody have everything right in front of them and not want it forego it hurt it give it away, berate it, hate it, and then tell all their homies about how they don't like it either. It just didn't look the same. That's what I feel. It wasn't culturally appropriate the way that he loved. And I'm just here to say that like, maybe that's our problem. Maybe we do love each other. Maybe we do love, and, and good for you, but he loved the world, everyone, equally and beyond equally and more actually <laughs> after the fact. He could have just been like, I actually don't really want these people. He, he, he didn't. We got, we've gotten worse, I feel, with the information that we even have now, just the knowing, the, the technological advancements to see that Christ was who he was, and the Ark, we have evidence of the Ark, we're getting all these other things that, but still it's like, eh. and I'm talking about me, I can only talk about myself. But we can see it in the world, and that's where wisdom comes in. Knowledge is identifying to ourselves by what we know and have experienced, whether we want to make the decisions on our own to go left or right, up, down, A, B, A, B. Uh, that's a little joke for uh, anybody that played uh, some of the SNES games, but literally, we get to decide based on the knowledge that we have and then but 
Beyond that is if we decide not to gain more knowledge with the understanding, even if it be minute, of the reality of the pureness of love that he gave, then we are maybe foolish. And I'm talking again about myself. But wisdom comes from the fact that we can see people going even harder against the flow, trying to erase the, 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 the fabrication of love that has been laid down. But trust me, it's like when love is, is woven into the fabric of the universe, it, it can get stained and that's that's even biblical, but here's the thing is it might look stained for a moment there in time because of whatever happened, but just know that give it a little bit of time and he will envelop you in the quilt of why well, maybe that stain might be there for a second, but trust me, go back to it in a day or a week, a year. 10 years and you'll see like you won't call it a stain you'll call it an actual portion of the, the the quilt that was meant to be that perfect color it's not a stain that was woven into you and me And, and, and yeah, it might hurt. Some things might hurt. I get that. But just please stand with me in a, for a moment to know that he's watching over billions of people. Some that have literally just the, the drive for hatred and dem, demonic and devilish things. And I'm here to say that sin is sin. I understand that. I've been in places in my life where I wanted revenge, I wanted to hurt, because I was hurt. But now some people, again, take it to a certain level, and I'm not here to say I'm the ultimate judge, I'm just here to say that when you can see quality hierarchy of just demonic essence, you just know that it's, it's, it's something that's so, and then it has its own quilt, it's woven quilt of that's, and that's the dimensional difference between heaven and hell. But they're both quilts. And, and, and so they'll offer these relative forms of comfort. Should we decide like, ooh, I'm gonna go over this side over here. And it's not like I'm cold, hot, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. It's just the fabric of our lives of different experiences that we have that become our life. Because I've, I've, I've touched or been involved with, hung around, did, thought about some things I definitely shouldn't have been involved with. And I'm not here and you don't need to tell anybody more than what you've done unless it's pertinent to some story that needs to be told or whatever or just vulnerability is is nice but only with certain people but just know that i love you whoever you are for your past should you want to change and learn from it and grow with yourself being okay in yourself to know that it's okay that you made those mistakes should you want to be and incorporate your experience in order to help someone else beside you above you and, be uh, and below you just because you're you that doesn't mean each one to teach one you're whatever you've been through is is needed it's needed <laughs> almost like bread almost like the the sowing of all this because you are a the perfect ingredient for who you are that will be the seasoning or the salt or the the zest or the 
even it could be just something that has no re relative taste, but it's it's needed in order to change the flavor or the thoughts or the whatever it might be for somebody else. I'm going to end with this. My life really started to change when I started to, and it's kind of been out or been through my whole life, but fa figure out like what your name is, like figure out what it means and figure out how important you are to your own story. I get it. Like, hey, we're the protagonist, maybe, or the antagonist or both. And we are literally almost almost at the same time, always. Because we get to pen in the story that we're seeing through this, our senses. You get to write your own story. Now, it's an adventure story because there's the world at large. There's our own doubts, fears, our own brain that we still have decades or millennia to figure out because it's so vast. That's because he made you so intricately, but your brain, can, you can change everything right now. And it's not because of listening to me, but just know that this is a portion of my testimony to know that like, love him first. He'll come back and he'll say, uh, thanks. Now, I love you. Always. And I want to show you some things about you that are really cool. Like that you didn't want to have to take out any time of your busy life to figure out like how cool I made you. How intricate, how skillful, how weird, how awesome, how whatever. Do you know why you do the things that you do? Sometimes we don't need to dig. I, I definitely dug too far. And sometimes it, it doesn't deserve an answer, but rather the oddity is the godity. The god did he, the god that he is. God is odd. I mean, he's also even. He's numbers, he's letters, he's everything. But the thing is, he doesn't care. He cares about all the stuff that he made, of course, but he really doesn't in comparison to how and why he made you. It comes down to the fact that he wanted you. He didn't need you. He didn't have to have you to fill his purpose. No. He wanted you. He wants you every day because you have involuntary muscles that means that they operate on their own but nothing operates on its own in reality because he holds the fabric of the universe together so whenever you wake up every morning just know he's happy to see you again as involuntary as the muscles and the uh, circulatory system that keeps you alive. It's not as easy as saying, it just does it on its own. No. <laughs> I'm only saying this to remind myself as well. I'm no better than you, but I'm just as beautiful. Because Trust me, I, I, I don't know if I'd want another one of me here. I'm, I'm, I'm wild, crazy, smart, uh, whatever, all the words that we could put to ourselves, but just know that you are awesome because he is a god of multiplication, but not duplication. He, he wanted you exactly how you are. Fall in love with yourself, figure out your name, figure out your family, figure out 
and not not digging into them but rather like hey how do i fit in here and maybe i can look at myself at a different angle to see myself in a different vantage point maybe i did do this or that maybe not and sometimes we get we, we got to stay away and sometimes move closer but it's the ebb and flow of life but just know that it'd probably be smart to rely on him first because it's like yo i got like all the operators manuals on how y'all work and i'm horrible at that do you want to know yourself more ask the one that made you and you'll probably figure out quite a bit or a bite and are we in simulation i don't know i'm just kidding uh and if we are like Mm, he made me good. No, I'm just kidding. Like, sometimes I lost the sense of reality just because it's like, I don't know. I went searching for God and I definitely found him. And you will no matter what, every time, but start digging into your name, digging into even the fabrication of the letters in the way that they are, in the in the state that you're in, in the country that you're in, and it's like, yo, he wants you listening, maybe you made it this far, or even whatever you do in your life. It's perfect. It's perfectly fabricated. The things that we don't do that help us move to a higher level of our own understanding of uh, Yah, is not the way that we need to go. That's why he is the way, the truth, and the life. And you light up his world. Thanks for listening. That gets my face all black, but I love you. He loves you more. See ya.